Shattered planets, shattered planets, game, play, sometimes. Um. <laughs> shattered planets, shattered planets, it takes place in space, it didn't used to. <laughs> shattered, shattered, we never shattered know when planets, featuring Durf. <laughs> All right. I know you normally don't send me your videos, but can you send me that? Like, what? just cut your footage and send that to me now. <laughs> no, okay. Re-record it in better quality. No, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. No, I'm fine I was with that. Being... Say, I don't think it needs better quality. Just do all that mastering stuff you talked about earlier, but wrong. <laughs> okay. Do all of it wrong. Okay. On the last time of Shattered Planets, Grave of Man. Drez uh, had sent, you know, jettisoned himself off into space, so we were frantically trying to go through the hull of the pirate ship in order to find a means of releasing our own ship, Flurf's ship, from the hold. And it was then that we encountered a room where there were yet more turrets and a bunch of dead pirate bodies. In the chamber beyond, we found a giant Rock'em Sock'em robot, and the Rock'em Sock'em robot proceeded to have a fight with Greg. And they seemed to be evenly matched. And I quickly sprinted to the next room to find who was controlling the beast. And it ended up being a, a pirate from a different faction of the Freebooters named Blythe. We were able to negotiate with Blythe and allow him to come on our own ship. He said that he, his people were beyond and that he needed to reach his own vessel. And that he would give us the robot in exchange for safe passage. So, but he couldn't guarantee us the same necessarily because the Freebooters are a, sort of a conglomerate of many disparate groups and they don't always agree, get along, or share the same rules and, uh, and allegiances. So, we're able to finally retrieve Drez only to find that he was absolutely covered in spiders! I don't know why! And we tasked the Necromancers with getting rid of them. At which point they created a giant ball of brawling arachnids. And at this point we're waiting for that dilemma to subside and set a course for the station that the that Blythe wants us to go to. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. <laughs> Yay! That's pretty much it. <laughs> for the time being. Thanks. Yep. All right. Um, so... I, I check up on the spider ball and see how it's how it's faring. <laughs> yeah, I was I mean, gonna say first order is, business. This is <laughs> literally like ball. I no time has passed, so it's kind of like hey, Lich is, a is mean thing to call derf. Lich is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very very pressing matter. <laughs> hey, liches, go deal with the spider ball, and they're like, okay, you close the door on them, and then you immediately open it back up to watch. It's hey, um, for whatever it's worth. I would kind of watch the spider ball for a oh, little bit. Oh, right. They were doing like a spider fight club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Extreme survival of the fittest. I mean, it's writhing. Uh, they seem to be, I mean, apart from betting on it, they also seem to be casting magic. Okay, so... All right, I'm going to let them do their thing. So is Drez sealed in the escape pod? Like, is, is the escape pod sealed space. with the door? Oops, that's the wrong Whoa. one. What? <laughs> Delete space for a second. Oh. Goodbye, space. Goodbye. Because <laughs> will he just be able to indefinitely have this escape pod attached to the rear of of the vessel? What? Like like a reverse Millennium Falcon? <laughs> oh no! It's it's just kind of floating along there. Like you guys are going at the same speed as it. Not like uh, it's not like suction cupped on or anything. Oh, so isn't Drez... Are we technically letting atmosphere out? No, there's like a bubble thing. I'd take a very loose approach to uh, how space Oxygen. works in this one, because it would to be... docking so procedures. Yeah. I might... I'm, I'm going to probably give you shit for fuel, seeing as you actually have a limited quantity now. Um, we have shit fuel? It, well... Fish fuel. Fish. There's some shit then in there, Then why would probably. you give us shit for fuel? We need fish. <laughs> I mean, the fish have poop. 
<laughs> it's a it's a fish poop, just weird stringy fish poop based ship. <laughs> now you just plug up the. Uh, let's it runs entirely on poop spaghetti. My fish <laughs> were, were able to create somewhere? poops about five inches long. You were vaguely going to head for Alaren's home. Oh yeah, we're heading pick... to Alaren's planet. Wait, wait, wait! But weren't we supposed to drop off Blythe? I will be uh, very pissed if you just decide to bring me along. Let's bring him along. Let's <laughs> not bring him along. He has a big robot. Speaking of, that's my going to check on the status of the of the big robot he was fighting. Okay, you left some dents in the chest plate. Yeah, how do I fix that? Uh all right, because it is an exercise. Do you have any prepared. related skills? Do you think I have any related skills? Yeah, that's what I figured. You look at it <laughs> and you're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> What happened? What the fuck? <laughs> Did he just roll? Yes. Motherfucker. <laughs> he just rolled a nat 20 at space. <laughs> I rolled a nat 20 on engineering. I was not this looking at skill that. that I'm trained in, and I have 20 a plus 20. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, well, your uh, move, GM. <laughs> what, what part of a one in twenty chance do you not understand? <laughs> That's the first roll well, of this there's, uh, session. There's Greg's meta knowledge. You understand robots. Apparently, Greg's a Gundam <laughs> fan. Apparently, he was able to acquire or, the knowledge or from his arm or a Robotech fan, something or weird. or no, no. Greg's a Mech Warrior fan. Yeah, that makes sense. Just like me, I love those games. Have you played the latest one? No, you haven't. Why not? No. Uh -huh. Anyway. Anyway, so Greg so, yeah. just enters a transcendent state of repair. Yeah. <laughs> so you have. I mean, you shouldn't be trained in engineer, engineering, but you are. You understand this thing. It it's like it was made for you, uh, and you for it. Uh, and you know how to fix it. You uh, fix it. You're not sure where you got the parts. You're not <laughs> sure what you broke, but you fixed. You fixed the thing. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, nothing quite like a robot well repaired. Am I right, Flurf? Wasn't that supposed? To, what? It, it, that, <laughs> I thought it was wasn't that mine? Blurps. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like he just did the equivalent of like My put, doing surgery on somebody by stirring them, <laughs> and then it worked. Greg anyway. uh, wipes off to... some like space fluid and oil on Flurf's head. Actually, ah! uh, <laughs> honestly, my bet is he probably uh, Greg probably cannibalized the escape pod for the parts. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so Drez, you're just floating in space now. Greg in a flurry of stuff <laughs> has stolen your your sleeping pod. Dres is farting himself off into space. We need to get him again. <laughs> For goodness sake. I give up. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll go use He was definitely my never jetpack. woken up in this process, which is all the more confusing. Can you fetch him, Flair? Yeah. <laughs> I shall fetch him. Oh, it smells like that's okay. I learned from spiders. Guardians of the Galaxy that you can survive a pretty long time in space. How 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 fetch? How fetch? Fly Wait, up and with, grab him with your and hands? pull him back here. Well, Keith needs to move. Yeah, your Keith, icon. you have to move your icon. Oh, unless right. you want me to give access to your thought, icon thought, to everybody. I again. thought you meant like how do mechanically. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. I am pretty small, but I think my jetpack <laughs> can handle it. And I punch the door to seal it. Whoosh. Okay. Well, now that Dirk, everyone Dirk's is like, well, next time press a button. <laughs> Finally, safely aboard. Ah. Also, I I wipe the the mechanical fluid off the top of Flurve's head. Uh, sorry about that, Greg. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. It was a uh, it was like a styling gel. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, Somehow he feels less clean the moment you <laughs> remove the fluid. <laughs> oh, in Pathfinder, there's a Draconic Druid. 
Well, because I am a, a mechanic, right? So I'm I'm sort of used to that stuff. Yeah. All right. So Blythe. Uh yes. Uh, what should we anticipate when we rendezvous with the other freebooters? Well, I mean, it's a bit of a, it's an asteroid. It's uh, it's, it's nice. It's it's cozy. I wouldn't say I, I particularly enjoy spending time there, but at the same time, it's a little bit more dispensable than the, well, the cold expanses of space. Hmm. What? How did? How does an asteroid support itself? Ah, uh, by floating? No. In I'm, space. I mean, what, I imagine what? more spiders come crawling out of Drez's clothes. <laughs> ah. Oh no, the liches were very thorough. Yeah. <laughs> Cavity searches. Yes. You. <laughs> there's an odd funk to you that you don't remember having. <laughs> what, I, what I meant by how does it support itself is... Uh, an asteroid doesn't really have much for resources on its own, aside from minerals, correct? Well, yes, but when you have freebooters based out of an asteroid, what do you think they do? Farm? They bring back all their uh, purloined Booty. goods? Yes. Yeah. That's how it supports itself. I see. So it's more of a, it's a, more of a location where people don't go looking, or don't want to go looking. It's, uh, it's kind of rather hard to get there. Well, wait. Is it in an asteroid field? Oh, of course. Oh. Oh, don't worry. I'll pilot the way in. I know the way. But I thought that the AI wasn't really, let's say, open to the prospect of being manually controlled. I mean, she's not, but, uh, well, we've worked out an arrangement of sorts. Flurf! What? Your AI's cheating on you again. Ah. No! After all the <laughs> fish that I've provided. <laughs> His identity is shaken. <laughs> what am I to do with my life? Roll. <laughs> I'm just imagining... It's okay, Flurf. I'm just imagining Flurf is just like sliding uh -huh. along the ground instead of walking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, roly poly, like kind of. He just sort of vaguely rolls and slides with no apparent order to it and no like but no I'm use of limbs. I'm it's okay. Yeah, uh, Sweep into floor as I go. It's okay, Flurf. I too have been cheated on. <laughs> Being cheated on by life doesn't count. Oh, I wasn't cheated on by life. I was. uh There was this one person who I was like, I want to kill them with my axe. But instead, I reached into my pack, and I pulled out a sword instead, and I stabbed him with the sword without realizing it. I threw that <laughs> sword away. Wait, the, the sword cheated on you, or the axe? You, because you of its absence? Che what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If wait, anything, wait, you was the adul axe. adulterer. You cheated on your axe. <laughs> yeah. What? No, I'm not a, I'm a good person. <laughs> I'm a... It, screw you guys. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. now I'm pretty sure uh, this uh, ship has a sophisticated autopilot. Well, so you need to tell it where to go, and it'll go. Well, Flurf, sometimes life was saying that he was going to pilot it through an asteroid field. Uh, I'm sure the ship can handle it. The ship's smarter than me, so the ship cannot handle it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but does he know that? Are, yes. Should we w really put that much faith in him? I mean... Hmm. Um... Like, what if... I, I mean, going to the pirate base in and of itself is probably not in our best interest, but... Light, is there a way around the asteroid field? Well, I mean, yeah, you could go around the asteroid field, but that would go around the pirate base. You could circle it forever and you'd never get there. I thought that we had arranged that we would be meeting in a neutral location. I mean, look, M Molt Station is about as neutral as you can get with the Freebooters. With the Freebooters? But 
What about all the other factions in the known realm? I, well, I mean, do you want the local factions? Because I'm fairly certain neutral ground would be on fire. Really? It's been that bad? You guys are in, uh, the, you're in the territory of the Cult of the Flaming Eye, of course. <laughs> That's pretty far from neutral. The Cult of the Flaming Eye? Cult of the Flaming Eye. I, literally, they worship a flaming eyeball. <laughs> Something about <laughs> Tolkien, maybe. I don't know. Turns out it's incredibly literal. Look, all I know is that their their one goal is to get as many eyeballs in their heads as possible, and then light them uh, on fire. I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't uh, see uh, them. They wear helmets. Uh, I. Uh, how do this they? This is like drunk history for Bloodborne lore. <laughs> Do they acquire eyeballs from other beings, or do they grow them themselves? I, well, mostly, ah. mostly the latter. They're very much into body mods in the exact opposite direction that we are. Ah. Oh, so while you focus on <laughs> mechanical betterment, they have biological? Ah, uh, magical. Magical. Oh. Do they grow eyeballs? Like they farm them? No, they take them sure. from you. And me. No, it, it, they. Is it possible? That would be unclean. I don't. Th it's rare that they would decide to uh, reappropriate someone else's eye. You would have to be uh. very special to do that. Oh, I am. Uh -huh. um. <laughs> is it possible for them to give me even more fur? I mean, yeah, if you could survive the meeting. And the more furring. <laughs> mm. Now this is like interesting. It. I don't like how that was a verb. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Could we potentially blast our way through the asteroid field to avoid what with your asteroids? net gun and the harpoon? Ooh, gotcha yeah, there. Well, we'll, mm. uh, we'll the harpoon a, an asteroid and swing it into another asteroid. I, that would create a lot of debris, Fleur. That would... That would... No, the, <laughs> the pirates would come and blow us up at that point. Those asteroids are very clearly placed, and carefully so. Now... Well, it seems as though we have no choice. Ah? Uh, what's our one choice? To let, let me pilot the ship, no choice. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like... <laughs> Alright. Let him pilot the ship, I say. But... If What's the worst that can happen? But if we arrive, then what will be our means of exiting the asteroid field? Oh, that's fine. Uh, we will... We have tugboats that'll get you out. They just don't get you in. Oh. Tugboats. For some reason, that's bringing up the little toot song in my head. Huh? It, I want to hear a, the little toot song. Um, I don't remember all the lyrics, but it's probably from the 30s. He's a da 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 little toot toot toot. little toot. Yeah, it was from a melody time. Really old Disney stuff. Hi, Lutches. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Craig remembers why it doesn't go in that room. <laughs> <laughs> you feel unclean. <laughs> you feel the unclean. All right, team meeting right here. I vote we let Blythe pilot the ship. I mean, that seems to be the only logical course of action, but I just wonder what will occur when we actually do meet the Freebooters. How do we know that this ship and... All of your cargo isn't going to be confiscated, and... I mean, they are pirates. Morph, do you really care about this fish? Uh, I mean, the fish is my entire life. Oh. Florf, do you value your life? Uh, not as much as the fish. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I can respect a man like that. Uh, Florf, can you... Can you ask the AI about what it thinks of the situation? Um, okay. I ask the, the, the ship's AI what it thinks of the situation. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, that's the spider ball. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, the, um, 
Yeah, they the asked ship. the ship AI about uh, apparently Blight and the ship has uh, made a previous deal. Blight. Uh, yeah. The, 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 ship, and the, the ship says with out, utmost certainty that uh, if you don't let Blythe pilot pli, uh, pilot her into the asteroid field, the field everyone will die horribly. Oh, including the fish. But oh the no! The fish are already dead. <laughs> um, no, not the fish. Okay, I'm so not we have sure to let Blythe. So Durf didn't parrot that information back to us, so he's just sitting there, and then all of a sudden <laughs> screaming. No! <laughs> no! Yeah, the no, fish. the fish. <laughs> <laughs> so Greg is now very confused. What? And he's like, what, man? Tell me what's going on. The Please. fish, the fish. We're going to lose the fish unless Blight what? pilots Why? the ship. Oh, we can't. We can't. Alarin! Alarin! Yeah? We're going to ah. lose the fish. <laughs> ah. I, I oh, can't no. go outside the ship. I'm not that. Alarin. <laughs> We, if Blythe doesn't pilot the ship, we're gonna lose the fish. Well, no, I, I understood that part, but what I was oh. wanting to ask was about when we actually get into pirate space and deal with the pirates, like, do, is there any inkling with her link between herself and Blythe? Like, does she know of his possible intentions? Is he gonna turn us into the freebooters, or are we going to be... Are Here's a thought. Like, huh? Let's jettison him into space and go in a completely other direction. But we just... He gave you his robot, <laughs> we just got him off the other ship, it, he didn't... Exactly, we have his robot now. <laughs> uh, here's We're the learning thing. things about Dirk's What I alignment. learned <laughs> is you can't jettison your problems away because they come back like Drez. He jettisoned <laughs> himself and he's back, so it doesn't <sighs> work. You do realize by talking about this, uh, the ship might actually tell him about it. That Why was a nice ship... nap. Time for more sleep. <laughs> Excuse me. There's an of intruder on the ship. <laughs> oh, I try to cast fireball. No, no, dress, what? Dress. no, 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 no. no, no. Oh. <laughs> but instead, I cast tree shape. I'm a tree. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Wait, second. where did he go? Oh, are you gonna put a tree token in? <laughs> Aww. I'm still Aww. running. I've decided to run with this until something changes it. Does right, this mean the door is blocked off? Over the tree. Drez, this was where's what, the intruder? This is oh, the spell that the I tree. landed on via RNG. <laughs> no, no. Greg, it, the tree uh, is. Let's see what's Greg gonna do. <laughs> Don't face. cut down the tree. What is this? What, what weapon is he going to hit the tree with? <laughs> Flurf, don't oh. urinate on it. That goes for you too, Greg. Greg I climbed the punches tree. Punches the tree. <laughs> no, not I'm on the tree, damn it. I fell off the tree. <laughs> you miss. Oh. <laughs> or you failed to wow. hit the tree. <laughs> Just a dull thunk. The tree is too powerful. <laughs> Almighty tree, Time to worship I the have tree. accepted you as the new leader of the ship. I, th I think uh, this is how Greg becomes a druid. <laughs> guys, that's Drez. I don't know why he did it, but... Huh? By the way, you guys have never seen a tree like this. It has scales. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I climb I the tree again, it. looking for, for what fruit it bears. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't go looking around its branches. You might see something you don't want to. <laughs> Scaled berries. <laughs> I, All right. That's, I, uh, that's a little weird. I, I pick Florf up by the fluff and drop weird. on the ground. And, uh... Oh yeah, you guys can't get past this thing. Oh, okay. Oh. Like it is it is a large tree. You would have to <laughs> Wait, how is it? Well, not... I thought, I, thought I could get past it because I'm He's tiny. Means... Yeah, Flurf is the I only successfully I have successfully contained the intruder. Flurf <laughs> <laughs> Flurf is the only player that can move past this thing right now. Oh. Blythe, are all you right. alright in there? Peachy. Well, all right. 
I don't think there's any peaches on the tree. <laughs> um, Greg is going to Does this mean strength we're... check to pick up the tree and move it a couple of feet. <laughs> How is it even nope. rooted? You hug the tree. Dress is <laughs> the first, first thing of affection you have ever received, I think, in your entire life. <laughs> it's an almost literal bear hug. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, um, that's a that's a shame. I uh, I tried. Um. Well, I don't know if he can hear me, but but Drez, if you're in there, if you still have a soul, I. I just want to say, like, um, you need to get out of the way somehow. <laughs> so that'd be you, dark like, if he literally just became a tree where that wasn't sentient anymore, and that was just the <laughs> end. You gotta, yeah. you gotta shimmy your branches slightly out the way because you've locked our pilot in the room. Wait, this lasts one hour per level. We could spend half a day here. Timber. Hours, yeah. <laughs> ah, no. <Wait. laughs> Attempts at walking have led towards falling towards Greg. Wait, what? Uh, Greg is going to attempt his <laughs> uh, reflex save. And attempt to, like, tumble roll out of the way. The most agile thing he's ever done. <laughs> Into the spider room. Yeah. Spider room. <laughs> this was planned well. Ah! It was either <laughs> out of the poop room. <laughs> Alright. Oh, did Drez? you just miss it? Well, that was disorienting. Drez, you just attempted to kill our pilot. I would say I'm disappointed. But I'm also not surprised. The what? Uh, yeah. Pilot. The yeah. pilot. Pilot. The person who sits at the front of the ship and goes with it. Why would they do that? I mean, his his chair spinning skills are not the best, but apparently he can get us through the asteroid field. I don't actually know why he would do it either, but I'm just kind of picking up the lingo as we move along here. I'm just going to assume you all know exactly as much as I do. Uh... <laughs> okay. Which, which is absolutely nothing, but it seems to be true. Greg sits in the pilot seat. <laughs> now, Blythe. Yes. Sorry for interrupting again, but I'm, I was just wondering, how many Freebooter clans are there? Well, uh, oof. I mean... As far as the main ones, I would say about five. Maybe, maybe five. Maybe seven. And really, really depends. How will our arrival be well perceived given what happened to the last Freebooter? Well, ship? I mean, you're on neutral ground. And also, we kicked out the Tanners because they're dicks. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you're mostly clear. Currently, this station... So when I say neutral territory, I mean that, uh, that Molt Station is more of a... Well, it changes hands frequently, so it's kind of just a... When, when new, new leadership is declared, everybody that was on the station beforehand usually leaves. And is it currently run by your clan? Yes, uh, the Red and Blacks. They're currently working on a better name. Uh, the recent reunification has been a bit of a... Mm, were they originally two different things, the Reds and the Blacks? Yes. Uh, we have wow. two leaders, and they're not exactly... I wouldn't say they see, see eye to eye, but that would be a bit discriminatory. Oh, one of them's shorter than the other. Uh, no, one of them doesn't have eyes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> As in the organic sense or the mechanical yes. sense? The, uh... The whole worshipping cybernetic enhancements thing is that's, well... That's a bit of a new policy. New policy brought on by whom? Uh, I like how, I like how he wasn't wrong to take it to a literal place. He just took it to the wrong literal place. 
Oh, so... So... The, though that clan is responsible for all the cybernetic stuff, and... Yes. Everyone else was... Yes, all right the, with it? The Reds, uh, well, I mean... You know the, you know the term red-blooded. It's a bit inaccurate, honestly, but... Uh, well, it's stuck, so that's... that's I don't what have red, red blood. Well, neither do I, but... No <laughs> phrases. Yeah, you have something in common. <laughs> you two can become besties now. But, uh, well, you know, it was all, all about raw, raw purism, and then they got their asses kicked, and they went running to the, uh, running to... I need to come up with a better faction name than just Reds and Blacks, because that's, this is starting to get weird. Well, how about the... How about um, Blacks and Reds? How about... <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Like, how about the Vermilion Flame and the mm. Obsidian Shards? I mean, the second one's kind of fine, but the first one, I'm, I'm fairly certain the Flaming Eye would not be happy with that. How about... Really? Just the use of flame? They're pretty, they're pretty territorial over everything. Branding, branding, uh, I'm not sure about that, but... Well, they leave us alone currently, but if we start calling ourselves the Vermilion Flame, I'm fairly certain... Uh, we'd run into problems. How about the storm cloaks? <laughs> that's that's that... not half bad. That's also that's a bit of an old game, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How, How about the Mushroom Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> How about the Knights of the of the Week? What? <laughs> it's have like you, days of the week. You met us, huh? We I met you. usually get set on the uh, put on the front lines, oh, blown up. Were you not on the front lines? Me? No. Oh, How I, I about don't like lines at all. The Scarlet Soldiers. I mean, this is. Let's just go with the Scarlets and the and the. How about the? How, how about, about the robots? We'll just call them the robots. <laughs> the robots. <laughs> <laughs> the Reds and the Scarlet Robots. R and well, R's. Wait, well, but you can call How them Obsidian, the or you can Rocket call them League. Ebony, or... <laughs> the We're just gonna League. go with robots. Because that's what they are. They're just No, they're I just like robots. Rocket League. Oh. <laughs> Rocket <laughs> League. I like that. <laughs> Alright. All right, there we go. A League of Rocket Extraordinary League. Rockets. A League awesome. of extraordinarily, uh, Extraordinary Rocket Men. <laughs> so who overwatches the Rocket space. League? What? No, that that's silly. Nobody overwatches the Rocket League? No. No. Nope. Oh. But if anything, I'd be the Underwatch. Oh. But that I mean that's that's more of a me but, role. Is that an but how long have you been in this guild? A floor uh, an Overwatch and intern? Ooh, about <laughs> two weeks, maybe. Mm. Ah. So a fortnight. Got it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he took it. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> now, so this merger was rather forced. Uh, no, it was quite voluntary on both sides. And what does this mean? Oh, it means the they were getting killed by somebody stronger and they had to team up. I get it. What will this mean for the other clans? Uh, well, I mean, currently we outnumber them by a little bit, and so, uh, they'll uh, probably unify, and then we'll have a bit wait of Wait a, a second. Wait a second. Don't you think that one of your leaders is going to betray the other at some point, then? No, unlikely. They're looking into a bit of a, uh, shall we say, political union? No, that wouldn't be quite right. Wait, you mean they're, they're getting, getting married? married? No, that wouldn't well, be. One, one of them's <laughs> looking into it. The other one doesn't have eyes. <laughs> are they gonna like is the mechanical one going to add himself to the other one this is getting oddly personal I should probably start charging you for this information oh we have fish. Oh, oh but yes that's that's exactly it we can charge Those you are my space. fish you haven't caught any fish since you got here alright show me a fish and I'll catch it well, first you gotta get into the harpoon room. Which that one's door, that one? Door to your right. Past and then the try not to rip this one off the wall. The net room. Oh, I'm not God. going right. to the net room. I'm telling you that right now. 
Well, the harpoon room is to your left. Eh. So far, we've been very lucky in that the ship that we tore like three holes into wasn't this one. No, that's the net room. We'll catch fish later. <laughs> <laughs> Blythe, I am ready for you to pilot this thing. Wouldn't you I expect mean, there to be signs on all the doors saying what each one you, is, like written in Have crayon. you ever... You have traveled on a ship before, right? No. That's concerning. I've killed things on oh ships Oh my before. god, are you a bunch of rubes? Yes. Wait, maybe. Is that a good thing? <laughs> Is that For a pie? You, it might be a kind word. Sure. Knowledge rube is... It? Nope, no idea. Ah. Uh, so, what... Is it, is it a wisdom check, or is it like a digital piloting profession culture? Is it a culture check? Is I'm a... the rubiest rube that ever rubed. And there's my <laughs> bluff check. <laughs> is it a bluff when you're telling the truth, though? <laughs> I mean, that's my culture check. I don't know what a rube is, necessarily. Culture check sounds like an annoying YouTube series. Uh, 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 I'm already annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait. So what? We can can't. I, you can't is, space us because we're rubes. Is that what is you're there, saying? Is a rube a job? And would that be a uh, profession what? check? Space, you know. Is I spacing just... a rube a hate crime? Look, when it comes down to it, it takes a while to travel anywhere around here. I'm sure if you actually felt like asking your ship some things, it would tell you exactly how far and how long it's going to take you to get to asteroid station. But rest assured, it'll be about six hours. Why I'm in here and not in there, piloting frantically, trying to avoid the asteroids. All right. So he's hinting so, we should rest. I guess we should rest. Yes. Got the bed. Oh. Greg well, there's bunk is beds, right? out. There's four beds in there. But oh. uh, I <laughs> shall sleep in the robot. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, when you modified that thing, were you building it for for Flurf, or were you building it? Well, my booster Greg, seat should still I be in there. Greg. Okay, so Flurf, the the space Greg, inside bastard. the robot is significantly more spacious than previous. <laughs> you can kind of jam yourself in one of the leg compartments. Okay. <laughs> leg. During the long <laughs> semantics discussion, Drez mastered the art of sleeping while standing up. <laughs> I like scooch past. Ah, phew. Didn't tip him over accidentally. I will curl up in this corner and look out at the stars longingly. Ah, I Wait, I'm on the so close to home. There. Although now I feel like she's about to burst into a musical number. <laughs> like, where is my home? I can just refit is the robots it over to, there to, to be for no, Flurf. I didn't see it. All right, so Flurf, I'm alone in make stars. Make a uh, no. make an engineering check. Okay. All right. Yeah, you could reasonably start doing it. You're. It's gonna take longer though. Bird Bird managed to do some wizardry. Uh, I'll I. I'm putting like a, a system in that's um, modular, so I can put it in to use the r big robot, but it doesn't actually affect. Okay, so you Greg's effectively system. jury rig. You know those like uh, plastic grabber arm things? Yeah, it's like stilts and, and you, plastic you grabber. You jury arm. rig some stilts <laughs> and two like little arm things, and then like you reappropriate a harness from the net room, and so you can strap yourself in like a little, I guess like a child. We just <laughs> got a little this too good at sleeping while seat. standing up. All right. So apart from Flurf tinkering around, everybody is going to bed. Yep. Oh, well, maybe I will sing that little song. I'm just writing it right now. All right. So Alaren, Alaren writes a song. The spider ball grows. Ah. <laughs> And uh, everybody Ugh. else sleeps. Next on Shattered Planet, Spider Bowling. Okay. So after a couple of hours, you kind of hear like a, a pinging sound. 
And, uh, I guess... Hmm. <clears throat> in an unfamiliar place, in uh, the no. dark of space, home seems so far, among the scattered stars. Oh, I miss home. Oh well. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> Just something quick. Well done. Bear man, I uh I'm in need of your assistance. <laughs> mm. yeah. Well, I mean, unless you want us to all die, we're coming up on the asteroid field and there's a there's a tree in the hallway. Again. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> uh, Greg kicks the tree. Uh, ah, always alert. I'm my body is a weapon. I... <laughs> Greg kicks the air as Durf. I mean, not Durf, Drez <laughs> panics out of the way. <laughs> Quit singing. We got work to do. Oh, what? Good job. <laughs> singing is her work. Greg. Picks Aww. up Alarin, scoots her to the left, ah! and picks up, and then it almost picks up Blythe, thinks better of it, and instead just gestures to the seat. Thank you. Where are we going? Well, uh, as you can see, through that, and he points forward, and Greg, you've seen this before. The last time you looked in your infinite bag of rocks, it looked a lot like this. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> Greg wait, just pulls infinite out the bag infinite of bag of rocks and looks into it. Wait, does, uh, the, does the asteroid belt light up? Uh, Do we no. see a giant Greg face <laughs> poof into the distance, <laughs> looking in the asteroid no. belt? I, I'm just, Aww. I'm just trying to think of how Greg would look at these things, and he'd be like, "Oh, hey, it's the same thing." So I'm totally oh, yeah. imagining you looking up and then trying to like see if your eye is like floating in the sky well, somewhere. Exactly, you have exactly figured it out. But uh, no, you do not see a, a giant Greg. Floating in the sky somewhere that that would be what really we need rad. to do is attach the bag of rocks to the front of the ship and open it. <laughs> and then we're safe. No, no, it's a one way thing. Rocks come out, they don't go in. <laughs> so, this is the field. Well, uh, yes, this is this is the field. It is, uh, well, you can see why we don't get visitors much and why uh, the station doesn't change hands too often. Greg reaches into the bag of rocks and pulls out a furry rock if he can find one. Um, uh, I would just look like a, a triple. Roll a die, die a twenty. Furry rock. I mean, I have the ability to summon like specific kinds of rocks. Yeah. What is a furry? We did plus one this thing. I guess a moss yeah, you rock. Did, you did. All right. You find it's it's kind of like a it's like a felted rock. <laughs> yeah. I give it to Flurf and I say. Here you go. It's like you. Oh, that was the whole plan. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I put the furry rock in my fur. Ah. Never told me again. Its power. Yeah, it just kind of like <laughs> sinks in. Anyway, uh, so you're going to have to probably leave the uh, leave the room. I don't exactly. Why? I mean, have you have you tried doing uh, extremely life or death things in the presence yeah. of other uh, other life forms? Yeah, that are really annoying and smell like yeah. grapes. Yeah, I've spun oh. around in that chair. Oh, vigorously. I, I and... know. Ah, <laughs> hey guys, he's giving us a hint. I've... He is actually in the process of disinfecting both the chair and the console. <laughs> I think I he's saying to something. Leave. I must watch. Make sure he's not going to do anything funny. Bear, bear man, can you can you can you get rid of the the? Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> With pleasure. All right. Oh. Picks up the flurf, and uh, 
Chucks him into the spider ball room. No. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Wait, does the spider get bigger? Uh yes. <laughs> um, I mean it's Tell a me spider ball, there. but it has gotten bigger. Ah, uh, nightmares. <laughs> oh. They're they are crawling on your skin. Oh no. Oh. These wounds they want I heal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I uh <laughs> would you say that the spear is consuming what is real? Uh, well, they're consuming his hair, for sure. I immediately jump out and onto Greg and start rubbing my body on his to <laughs> teach him <laughs> a lesson about the spiders. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of an alternate version of this song. Like, it's spiders in my hair. Alright, Greg is reflex saving against that. Alright, so you guys are having a personal duel. Hilariously, <laughs> none of the spiders come along. They As soon as you leave the spider ball... They pretty much immediately lose interest in you. Oh, okay. But you are rubbing yourself on Greg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picture just crawling all over him because because I can with all my arms. Ah. ah, ah. <laughs> anyway, while that's going on, what's happening in the plot? Well, uh, I I'm kind of waiting for the other others to leave the room too. That that, that means you, Tree Lizard. Oh, so we can't bear witness to your piloting prowess? Um, no. Oh. You know, you know the whole, like, oh, shoot, what would it be? Oh, you have stage fright, don't you? No, it's... Ooh. You know how... Shut up. I'm suspicious. You know how when... Uh, I wouldn't exactly say you're kidnapping victims, but it's the closest thing. But you know, you put the bag over the head in a kind of classic manner, and then you lead them to the secret location. Well... Ah, uh, that, that's, that's how we're getting in. You think we're going to be rem able to remember the route with all of these floating rocks <laughs> about? One of you can turn into a tree at this point. I'm not making assumptions. Hmm, I see. Well, how do we know that we can trust you? You don't. But you also don't have much of a choice. I'm just thinking to myself of, like, all the things we could have done, but... Yeah, we could sick the, uh, um, uh, what are they called? The undead guys on him. Or just cast, like, a kill it instantly spell. <laughs> <laughs> well... Damn it, coming up with lyrics is hard. The furthest I got was spiders into my hair, the legs are all I feel. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, was the, what, what, what was the song specifically? That... Crawling in my crawling by Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. I was oh. making it spiders. I don't know if I've heard that one. What's the tune? <laughs> Mostly uh, Chester well... Bennington screaming. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Because for, for a moment, spiders I... in my hair. Their <laughs> legs are all I feel. <laughs> I actually want to hear this song. Like, I really want everybody to just kind of collaborate on a weird ass Grave Jesus. of Man mixtape by the end of this. <laughs> just weird yeah. parody songs. A lot yeah. of Alarin Workshop. songs, too. <laughs> yeah. Some Alarin originals. Drez just bastardizing popular songs to fit his horror spells. Greg Greg's gargling songs. on his own spit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a three minute video or not video song of you gargling uh. <laughs> well alright I mean I suppose as long as the pirates will give us safe passage afterwards I mean of course but you said you couldn't guarantee that, though, given your leaders. I can guarantee you with our, our, our little band, and our little band has a little bit of an influence right now. So, yes, you will have a modicum, you will have a lot more safe passage than you had previously. People will think twice before boarding you. The horrifying things that happen to them when you do. Hmm, yeah. I suppose I'm it is information good at you can relay about the Tanners. Yes, I know. All right. Well, pile it on, Blythe. I, uh, I ask the ship to log his every action and relay it to me remotely. Oof. So I can essentially spy on what he's doing. Okay. 
without him knowing. Uh, do I need to? Uh, no, check? no, your your computer will do that. Okay. Tree lizard. <laughs> Dress. What happened? Oh. I leave. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to leave. Yep. He referred to as the tree lizard. Okay, so as tree soon as lizard. you go through the door, it locks. And then ah, hell. a door that, Flurf, you have never even seen before locks. <gasps> oh, we did the thing where we trust people again. That literally never works. Uh... And then you feel the ship. Holy shit. You don't feel a damn thing. So we don't we even feel it We have been betrayed by literally anyone who has ever spoken to us. How do we uh, not learn? And Flurf, as far as you can tell, your ship is having the best time. Oh. He's fucking your ship. <laughs> <laughs> it, your ship just got nat 20 straight through an asteroid field. Whoa. And he's got a plus 27 to piloting, so he knows what he's doing. Man, he must have a real handle on that joystick, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he, he's got both hands on. Shell, that's the first dirty joke I've ever heard you tell. I didn't <laughs> think it was possible. <laughs> it was about piloting, though, so... Wow. We've destroyed her. It took mm -hmm. many years, but we finally have done it. Anyway. It's so, yeah. cucking a flurf. <laughs> oh, oh. It's a renaissance. A cuckolding. A flurf. <laughs> they're, they're making a new flurf. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Poor flurf. Okay. Life is just cradling the spaceship in his arms. Pretty much just see like a weird, way to like... get the video demonetized to call it the Flurf Cucker. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's a lot of potential titles here. Uh, Flurf? Did, did she ever ask you to pilot her before? Oh. Uh, I think she did one time, but I just sort of spun around in the chair and that seemed like it was good enough. Oh. <laughs> that poor ship. Huh. Go figure. Jeez. That ship just wanted somebody to love her. <laughs> oh my well, god. It's getting it now. <laughs> oh god. That's, that's really... I'm getting weirdly uncomfortable now. <laughs> this is really weird. This is really weird. Or like all those creeps that are like locked outside the door overhearing things. Yeah, you hear like some smooth jazz or something coming. <laughs> <from Yeah. the floor>. <laughs> 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 My darling, I Wait, did he just dimension just door? Just want to pilot you through an Wait, asteroid. Did you just field? teleport through dress? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Do I gain a madness oh. point? Are we gonna are we gonna careen into an asteroid? <laughs> he not 20 it, so shouldn't he not lose his concentration? Yeah, no. He doesn't lose his concentration. Oh, does he even notice Drez then? Um. <laughs> oh, no. The What's silence. gonna happen, Wander? I'm trying well, to decide what he would do. <laughs> well, I I wonder where Drez went, and uh, is it wait? Is it possible for me to like climb into the vents, make my way in there? It depends on if there are any vents. Why yeah. does everyone want to get in that room so bad? Because <laughs> seems just gonna pilot us. Happening. That piloting music is it's so smooth. God. <laughs> Are you just are you are you are you all so threatened at the sight of somebody actually accomplishing something <laughs> yes. that you just you can't Bring let it, it slide you're the one in that's this asking game? That? You're the one that's asking. Yes, I am. I'm legitimately just there's just all this hypothesizing about what's happening in there, and I'm like, I can okay. just go. So Drez, <laughs> what you see is 
I assume you're not being stealthy at all, are you? No. Okay. So you see him just kind of piloting the ship. It looks smooth. It looks actually rather casual. It almost looks easy. Uh, and then he hears you. <laughs> and then he turns. And... <laughs> Give me a second. It's like you just you can't let anyone win. <laughs> you I can't just, let anyone succeed. You're, I don't want him to die because Wander made a really hot icon for him. A, a, long, hot, a icon. hot icon with, for with him. long flowing what? hair. Yes. I gotta very... see this now. <laughs> what has long flowing hair? The icon. I have Blythe. long flowing hair. Blythe. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was just a recolor. Oh, those are bad. Those are high numbers. Those a lot Drez, of them. Oh no! <laughs> he hears you. He swivels in the chair, and he shoots you four times. <laughs> For <laughs> seventy, hundred and seven. What? One hundred and forty-six damage. That's not so bad. He's gonna do it again in a second if he doesn't get out. <laughs> you are debilitated. I'm not sure what that does. I think you're flat-footed for your next round. What is debilitated? Oh, flat-footed or off-target? It's off-target do. Yeah, you're flat-footed for the next round, so your dexterity <laughs> does not apply for the next round. Ah. Oof. And we, of course, hear all this blaster fire. Uh, no, you no? don't. Oh, because of the sealed doors. No, well. Or he's a silencer. Yeah. I wonder what's going on in there. Boom. <laughs> Guess we'll never know. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're next to a ball of food. This is way better. <laughs> How is he going to start eating the spider ball? <laughs> this isn't doing much to convince me that he's on our team. <laughs> I don't think you did a lot to convince him that you're on his team, so... So has anything Our happened only with... has been him attacking me. The oh, course no. of the, the ship? ship is quiet. Oh. Okay, well... I mean, for this... all I know, the, uh, the, the undead guys in the spider room are not on my team because they don't have any fur. What does that mean? <laughs> it just means that they, <laughs> they, you guys brought them on my ship and I have no idea who they are. Even to this day. Dress doesn't have fur. I have something that resembles hair, but I don't know if it really is since I'm more aquatic in nature. Yeah, uh, and you you too, Greg and, and Lauren, you've been significantly more useful than Drez has to the, uh, to the function of this ship. I disabled the ship that boarded yours. So I, I've now... In one blow. I've associated... <laughs> I've, I've come to associate the amount of fur that somebody has with their loyalty. Have you met many other preachers Greg on your tribe? <laughs> we, we taught him racism. <laughs> <laughs> it's called furism. Greg, Greg, name already? Greg extends a <laughs> fist bump to Flurf. <laughs> Flurf gets punched. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially with those gauntlets on, I mean, really. Hey, hey, hey. So, how many other aliens have you met on your travels, Flurf? Does the ship ever let you out, aside from catching fish? Um, I vaguely remember uh, where the ship... I think I was born on the ship, and I never, never uh, seen anything else besides space fish. Wait, you were born on the ship? You've never been able to meet your own kind? Uh, as, far as, uh, I, as far as I know, I thought I was the only of my kind besides what the ship numbers. I thought... Uh, 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 uh. Feelings, right? <laughs> is, uh, is Blythe just standing in the door? You don't know that. I'm trying to decide. 
I thought Flurf was another name for pilot. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call this a Henderson, but I didn't plan on this. You guys are flooded in darkness. <gasps> what? Oh, he's using a darkness spell. This guy has issues. Can I use light to come back the darkness? No, you this cast, is like a physical darkness. This is you a... cast you cast light, but it is it is not enough. This is a bit higher. I don't th I don't think you can use the light uh light spell on a darkness spell. No. Make perceptions checks though. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Uh, okay. Oh, this is not gonna go well. <laughs> okay. Wow, uh, Drez oh. is <laughs> Drez. awesome at this, and I'm close second. Okay. So, Lauren, yeah. you hear? Wait, let's let's see what. Uh, let's see. Let's well, see. I asked the uh, ship what's going on. Drez, you roll high enough. Lauren, you hear the doors. <gasps> Drez, you hear somebody enter the room. Mm -mm. Now, did the were the doors that I heard the ones to the piloting room, like the bridge? And then you to... hear it leave. Okay. It leave. Yep. What is, it? is there something beeping on the floor now? <laughs> nope. Not a thermal detonator or anything. So the doors are open and Blythe is gone. Oh, well, that took care of itself. Chris, you terrible, stupid. But where are we? <laughs> I, I look in the front. Can I can I go through the doors? Oh yeah, you can get through the doors. What's outside? I, I you are in the, the middle of an asteroid happened. field. Uh, oh. Wait, did he abandon us? Yeah, as far as you can tell, Blythe has left you in the middle of an asteroid field. Necromancers! Well, he didn't take anything, did he? Uh, yes. What's going on? Uh, did you notice anyone well, for chance? Well, yes, it went dark, and then, uh, then it went light again. I, does that count? <laughs> but, but we had another passenger, and he's, he's vanished. Oh. Huh, that would be impressive. Where where could he have possibly gone? Is he inside the mech? I asked Actually, the ship. Oh. The mech ain't there either. Oh, God damn it. did he fly out into space? I worked so hard on that. Hey, Greg. Greg runs into the room and begins <laughs> openly weeping. Greg, did, did you in, in, install a tracking device or anything on that? or? Lauren. I'm in no position to talk right now. I'm I've sorry. been trying to ask the ship what the hell's been going on while it was dark. Well, dark the ship is really pissed off at Drez. Uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> like, the ship is so pissed off, Drez is no longer considered a flurf. Oh. <laughs> he lost oh. his flurf status. <laughs> and uh the ship is also pretty. Pretty down with the idea of jettisoning him. <laughs> Captain Flurf. Yes. The is, ship has like does... three thousand flurfs and one not, one sub flurf. <laughs> I mean, does does she know a way out? Or because he was the one piloting, she probably couldn't see much, could she? Not without your eyes. I have no idea. I've been asking the ship what's going on and haven't been getting much other than so the the ship other than curses towards Drez. The how ship did we, admits how did we get that, picked up by the single creepiest ship in existence. <laughs> as, as you were flying through space, uh he was he was doing it purely manual uh and had actually managed to shut down all of her sensors at the time. Oh, well, it was because he didn't want us to know the location of the pirate base within the asteroid It was asteroid BDSM. Mm. All right, well, I'll turn everything back on. <laughs> okay. So you turn all the sensors back on, and immediately you start just getting many proximity warnings. Hear that, guys? <laughs> I turned on the ship. 
yeah. I, uh, was, about it. Yeah, nobody cares when you do it. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't make it smooth like anybody else. What you just flicked on a switch? Oh. And do we see the I, in mech depressing... anywhere in the debris? Like anywhere? Oh no, you don't see anything. It's just rocks. <laughs> Large, small, all around. Oh yeah. And does it look like we're in the center of the field, or that there's a definitive end somewhere? You can see rocks. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Captain Firth. There's, there's space between the rocks, or is there just more rocks between the rocks? Okay. Guys, it's clear that we aren't going to make any, uh, any allegiance with these pirates, so I pull out the chalk. Huh? We're going we're gonna to need some help. I... Chalk? What do, we, I, what do you have chalk for? I scrawl a, a door-shaped rectangle on the wall. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we're doing that. <laughs> oh, so you well, thought we would, wouldn't see that guy again. Well, 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 stop with your graffiti. What are you doing? Shh. This is the only way. The only Do way you, is to draw pictures on the wall? You draw the door on the wall. Yeah? Uh-oh. And... Uh... Lurf no. immediately tries to run through it. And I don't like how it's... you're how you're pregnant, pausing all your words. <laughs> yeah, it, it opens. Yeah, slightly, oh. slightly, uh... and a hand grabs you. Oh, oh, Whoa. <laughs> and pulls you through the door. Whoa! <laughs> so we'll pull you out here for a second. How does this keep happening? Yeah, <laughs> this exact thing. I guess uh, Alaren's going to be gone for two weeks. Oh, no. <laughs> so, Greg's no, going to lose, Greg's no gonna lose another arm. So, Alaren, mm -hmm. you were pulled into Merrick's shop. Let me find where I put Merrick. He's, like, way down on the list at this point. Mm -hmm. And he looks... Upset? Obviously. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely. I, I fully That's anticipate that. That's an upset face. <laughs> That's not an upset face. Let me fix this. Where, where, where is he? I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> he well, took I him think off because he looks too not upset. Wander yeah. is actually going to change his facial expression <laughs> specifically for this. Yeah. I'm probably just going to alter his mouth. It, this is not going to take very long. <laughs> just going to rotate okay. his mouth. Frowny going to make work. it go from being like, yay, to... Mm. <laughs> I Yeah. Uh what the, why did you open that up? That that's not that's not even a thing. Time to rename is. this series Everybody Hates Dress. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Dreads I mean you haven't really worlds? endeared a lot of people right now. <laughs> Dres, you're you're slightly higher up in my books than the necromancers are because you have something closer to hair than they do. The necromancers had hair at one point, though. The spiders yeah, have, have a lot of hair. It, wait, is that burned <laughs> skin or what? What is that? Decay. It's like, like rotted flesh. They're like zombies. Well, they're more like skeletons that have layers still. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you actually trying to look closely at them? So that it w so it wouldn't be burned flesh. Are are you looking closely? At I don't know. <laughs> at the sure, necromancers? let's look closely they at probably them. React. Okay, that is not that is not skin. Ew. Oh. 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 <laughs> then what have they been shedding on my floors? Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh, they've been shedding spiders. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I think uh, we can just erase those two lines on the sides. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, right so that's that's what I was going to do. I, I just don't know, move. Drez. I think you're just ruining yet another plot line. With your <laughs> I've only done like three things so far, <laughs> and they've all been bad. They've all been very anti-Blight. We should probably save that as a separate one, too. There we go. Move that over. 
Uh, it's... I also have this uh, thing in my inventory, <laughs> but I don't know what it is from last time. And you never told me what it is. Which was it? it I literally have written down thing question mark. Because you never told me what it is. <laughs> okay, you need to learn how to make better notes to yourself in this game. Yeah. Plus, you never you told me what remember. it is. It was from did... uh, the battle, I think. With the, you should uh, at least write down like what it was from or the something. Yeah, the, then just the thing the question. Yeah, because here's uh, the like thing: with the turrets I, or something. I, I forget. I have to. I have to keep track of like six or seven like different. Oh, it, items. Didn't, yeah. didn't he pick up an orb? Admittedly, I did keep track of like like nine different unique pickups over the campaign, and I think two of them came up again, and other ones faded to obscurity. Yeah, they have Tiny to be used gear. fairly quickly. Or examine fairly quickly, or I completely forgot about how or where or what. I think what. it's if only been give, one session. If you give but... me the specific context for it, I will gladly tell you what it does. But I've, I've got other oh. shit like uh, what is currently happening on my mind, as opposed to what's in in uh, Durf's what inventory. What was the thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now well, is I, this? this I was so confused at the time though, because like he I, I never told me what it was. It's okay. You'll learn. Okay. Is this technically the midpoint, or should we... No, no, no. no. Bert has to leave in half an hour. Oh. Yeah, we'll, so... we'll just end in half an hour. Okay. Yep. So, Lauren... Yeah? Uh, I guess I do actually have a new map for this, kind of. Lauren, you are taken to... into his shop. Mm-hmm. And he looks... cross. You've never seen Merrick mad before. Oh, yes. He's usually quite jovial. Yeah. But like uh, that artificial see. salesman jovial. <laughs> nah, it's true. I'm pretend friendly for personal gain. Can't hide 90% of this. There we go. On Fog of War. Everything. Okay. Yep, he's just getting it set up. Yeah. I was not exactly expecting any of this turn of events, so I, I've been Me neither. Drez. I've... <laughs> okay. Every time people have asked about Skitter or Merrick, I've said, Hey, I can always try using the chalk as soon as we get a moment of respite. And this seems like a moment of respite because we're literally dead in the well not water, but Okay, so Alaren expanse. Oh. Uh, you should be in the top right. All right. There you. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, he's adorable. Oh, he's precious. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> okay, give me a second. I, I think I got to delete the map again because I put it on the wrong layer as usual. Okay. He's so, so he... precious. He does not look happy with you. And uh, I don't exactly remember his voice because it's been a little while. And he's like, ah, Merrick to this do is the Merrick, boss. I think. Kind of. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm always excited because I'm Merrick. He, he, looks, he looks behind you and makes sure, make sure the door is completely closed and nobody has come through. And uh, so the shop looks different. It looks like he might have changed locations. Mm, for obvious reasons. <laughs> Weird. What are you doing here? <sighs> Merrick, it's, it's such a long story. I... I I heard it. I know. I know the story. I know what you did. It... It wasn't solely my fault. We... Oh, no. Uh... I... I wouldn't expect any anything of the sort from you. Honest mistake on your end. Hand the worm... To the destroyer. Everything will be fine, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> is is that what they call him? Oh yeah, he is. Whew. The You are lucky I did not destroy that shock. Hell, you're lucky I didn't send uh well someone after you. That bounty is high. Ooh, oh. Wait, there's a bounty on us? Mostly him. I mean mostly the bounty for you and Greg and Skitter. It was all for information on the Destroyer, but, well, it's high. Oh, I see. I could... You know the money I made from you you hooking me up with Gelato and the, the whole 
ice cream connection. Well, what else? What about the pales in comparison? Horde, the the dwarven horde. How about that? Pales in comparison. Uh, who, who could possibly foot such a bounty? I mean, gods. You blow up their playground, they get kind of pissy. Guess who has infinite funds? Gods. Uh. And where is Skitter? Oh, um. He's around. He's fine. Oh, thank goodness, Merrick. I was worried. I was worried that he had come back to us before. Oh, no. Before all that he, happened. He. He. While he was close. He was close? Well, I mean, metaphorically. He was on his way back. Human? Okay. Uh, yeah, I like you to zoom in on characters when we're talking. Sorry, I forget. As DM, I kind of need to see everything. But he was, he was very close. And then, well, he kind of saw it coming. Oh. Well, oh. I... The reason why I, I wanted to come to the shop, it's, it's because we're stranded out in space. Great. And, yeah, That's I know. probably the safest place you could possibly be. Well, in the middle of an asteroid field. A correction. <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to do the mental math on that one. It's still safer than many places, but that's pretty bad. Yeah, so I... I don't know what I wanted to accomplish by coming here. It's just... Well, we, we had met a pirate, a, a space pirate of sorts, and he was going to lead us safely back to an enclave where they had multiple groups come together and this it just happened to be at the center of the asteroid field and oh we were asked to leave the room and let him pilot the ship that we're on and molt molt station i know it yes and so we were told to leave the room and and let him work his magic why was i thinking that and then drez I, he just disappeared he he must have dimension doored right into the room and you you let that idiot Sneak up on a pirate, taking you to his secret lair. Yeah, and... It's not so secret when other people get to see how to get there. Precisely. So then everything went black, and he must have taken off with the mech suit that... Well, go figure. Pirates are no notoriously, uh, well, they're not trustworthy, but you break their trust, they're definitely not trustworthy. Oh, I know. I know that full well. And so the ship, it doesn't have eyes or senses of the sort of its own, so it had no recollection of how it was getting to that point in the asteroid field, and... You're stuck. Yes. Hmm. Also, we have a bunch of liches with us. Why are you there? <laughs> <laughs> Because, because we shielded ourselves. Look, before... I know you're a bad judge of character, but at this point, something, I... something in your head should be going. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe, maybe I'm choosing to to associate with the wrong crowd. <sighs> no, I, I've known that for a long time, but at the moment, there isn't really a means of escape. I mean, there's. The ship doesn't really have any secondary vessels to leave it, and even if I could, we're in the middle of an asteroid field, after all. But when you said the gods were after us, does... Oh. They'll go from one plane to the next relentlessly, won't they? I mean, they're kind of casual with it. It's like you blow, blow up somebody's favorite sword or shield, except for it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more expensive to replace. But... I mean... And is, is Agnoth really, really gone? Oh, well, yeah. Poof. So the drow, the... Oh, the yeah, no, all people, dead. The, it's, the druids, the... It, this is pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> uh. 
I'm actually sort of like half teary right now. I I didn't intend for this to happen. When uh, when I left home, I just I just wanted to find my father and Well, you were you were close. It was definitely in Zagnoth. Wait, he what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh my. Damn, Mary. Can you can you soften that a little bit? <laughs> You don't. Ooh. You don't mean he's dead, do you? Uh, no, <laughs> unlikely. Well, who knows? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I, I just hoped that his his patron would save him, but all the other people too. I, I was I was just trying to get back home to Neherath, and but the Leviathans could very well be there still. They, hmm. I don't know. I just been feeling lost and you and Skitter and the other people that have helped us along our journeys, you're I suppose you're the only consistent things. I mean, my friends are too, but are I, they? I don't know anymore. I mean, one of them just casually killed a planet. I mean, it it could have been a mistake. He just wanted to continue. Mistake or not, usually that requires, a, a, I would say, an ounce of remorse, maybe. Or at least maybe, like, some self-doubt. Uh, you are right. He doesn't really seem that affected by it, but... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I was wondering if maybe there was something that could help us get out of the field, or... Otherwise, I, I suppose we can just try making it out on our own. I'm sorry to bother you, Merrick. Well, no. I know that we I, don't deserve it. I can work out a deal with you, but this is one of those deals. You know the ones. Hmm. You mean like the sell my soul kind of deals? No. <laughs> no. I'm not, not Satan, he's Merrick. I, yes, exactly. <laughs> Look at those pointy little ears, though. That I, was like one of those movie scenes where someone's like, we're going to have to make a special kind of deal, and someone's still like, all right, and starts zipping their pants. No, what? No. <laughs> this is... Yeah. This is a high cost. And he passes you a note. Uh, what? 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 Really? I mean... I have the note, by the way. Yes. This is, you are the easiest person to pass notes to. Other, everybody else will have to get Discord messages. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, listen to me. You, you keep with this, you're, it's going to go bad. Like, you are in the worst possible place. They were leaving uh, Zagnoth and, and the like alone because, well, somebody else had laid stake to that one, but they're Ah, uh, well, they're in the area, and then, then obviously you've pissed off, what, two out of, two of the twelve factions of freebooters. Yes. That's, that's, that's not a good track record. There aren't that many allies uh, out and about. Technically, didn't we upset three, because <laughs> there's the Scarlets, Technically, aren't the we Obsidians, in a situation? and the Tanners? <laughs> I, well, I mean, the, the Scarlets and the Obsidians, uh, they're, they're well on the way to being one faction, so... A benefit of the doubt there, it's just bigger than the two individual ones. Addition. Whatever. So, I can get you out of there. I can... I can help you get out. But you're gonna need to do that thing for me. But who would I even approach for that? Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be so hard. Like, is there a particular planet, a place, a person that I would have to contact? Well, I mean, the easy way to do it would actually be, I can get you straight to Molt Station. Really? Wow, but once we reach there, 
Wouldn't we already be at odds with the pirates? Oh, uh, probably, but I mean, that would be your get out of jail free card. So... <sighs> I mean, it's, it's hard to take in. I mean, I... They've been with me so long, and to do this, I... What other choice do I have? What what will they do? Mm. What will they do to them? I mean... I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. I mean... I deal with a lot of information, but that one's, that one's a bit beyond me. I suppose the gods are capable of anything, aren't they? I mean... Not really. They're a little bit more limited than you think they would be. They can't just, you know, snap a finger and have you there before them instantly. Realms of influence, and, well, that's why they're pissed. I see. So you'd get us to the station. And then... This. Then it's up to you. And why do you want to help us, Merrick? I mean, we've been friends for years. I'm not exactly going to just cut you dry, but it, I'd have to say you're a bit of a, well, hot topic right now, and you know me. I like to, I like to keep them around until they cool. Keep, keep my distance. I don't exactly like getting burned by things. By, by friends, by connections, by items in my Fire. possession. <laughs> Fire, yes. No, I'm... I'm starting to understand that feeling all too well, too, Merrick. <sighs> I mean, there's one other option. Which would be? You could just stay here. And, and just leave them? I mean, somebody would pick them up eventually. Eventually, but... Well, I mean, they're, they're right on the... They're right on the pirate's doorstep. It wouldn't take long. They'd be... A literal sitting duck, and uh, not to mention the liches and the massive spider ball. <laughs> you've, you've got a ship full of horrors there, <laughs> I will admit. Uh, I. I like how I asked to be a druid because it gives me about a lot of options, and now every option I take has just been horrors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well. You, with great power comes great responsibility, which you have <laughs> graciously I, not demonstrated. Pissed on, <laughs> and then yeah. possibly pooped on repeatedly. Nuclear fission is not character knowledge. <laughs> I mean, Merrick, I, I appreciate the offer, but I, I can't abandon this. I, I can't abandon it now. My quest to find my father, I... Is over. You you found him, and your friend blew him to hell. You're right. And I mean, I'm going, Merrick, and I'm going to set this right once and for all. I would say good luck, but good luck. Aww, <laughs> that was weirdly sweet. <laughs> Thanks, Merrick. For everything. And, uh... You go back to the ship. Yep. The angry Merrick's incredible. Come here. I'm, I don't like you. I assume that's probably the last time we're ever going to see Merrick. I still want... I still wanted to see Skitter, though. So the door opens. Hey, right, welcome back. And how, then the how door was it? closes. Where did you go? Do I have anything with me that Merrick gave me that... Uh, you have the note. Wait, he wasn't going to give me a way to... Oh, I, I, thought, I thought you were rejecting his offer. No, I wasn't rejecting his offer. I was accepting it. Oh, okay. Well, in that <laughs> case, uh, no, it's fine. The ship turns on. The door is closed. The door is closed? Yep. Okay. 
And... Now what do I do? Let's have a piece of paper. Oh, what'd he say? How'd it go? Oh no, the, the piece of paper is blank. So you really do just have a piece of paper. Um... um okay. Magic. There's magic in this world of magic. Wonder, did you just really flub that? No. Okay. No, it's fine. So I have a piece of paper. I, I mean, I flubbed it, but it, it, the end result would have been exactly the same. It's just one would have had the ship turn on and one wouldn't have. Okay, hey, uh, Alaran, what's that thing that you got in your hand? It's a, a gift from a friend. Do you have anything written on it? <laughs> nope. It's clean. I... It's pure snow. I do a perception check to, wait, yeah, to sniff the paper to see if there's any, like, invisible ink or anything on it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> well, no. Well, okay, uh, so you, if you what was that perception check? I... Yeah, no, it smells like paper. If you got <laughs> nothing to tell me about Merrick, then, I guess, uh... Well, I, I did know. meet with Merrick. Yeah. And, and, um, I, I don't know, I, I head over to the bridge. Oh, no, the door's locked. Oh, the door's locked? Yeah, you can't get in. Uh, Flurf? <laughs> uh, Can you ask uh, the ship what's going on? All right, I ask the ship what's going on. Uh, the ship seems to be flying itself. It is very confused by this. It oh. seems to be. It's okay, working. Well, why it's are working. they confused? Yeah, the, the ship seems it's, to be on autopilot. It's not doing it. It's but, just going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It doesn't <laughs> have control. No, it's it's all right, guys. It's it's Merrick's doing. It's oh. going to, it's going to take us to the station. Wait, why are we going to the hate, station? Doesn't everyone hate us there now? Yeah, I mean, don't Oh, we're not, Merrick wants it. us to kill these guys. Oh, that makes sense. We're done with Blight though. So shouldn't we just leave? Well, there is something that we can do, but huh? I don't know how to say it. Oh, weird. Is it, uh, is it to, to dump the spider ball on the pirates? Yeah, how long do you think this is going to take to get to the uh, station from here? Can you ask the, the, uh, the autopilot or the computer? All right, I asked the autopilot how long it's going to take. Um, to get to our destination, wherever that is. Kind of a weird pause. And then... 10 minutes. Alright, 10 minutes. I'm gonna bet on spiders. <laughs> I... <laughs> Someone got over the spiders. <laughs> I go back to the cot, and I lay down and look at the ceiling with the scrawlings of all the flurfs and I sort of run my finger along them just thinking about what will I head I go to the <laughs> room where the uh, uh, the robot suit used to be and continue to dream what it would be like if I were taller <laughs> <laughs> okay so you guys are just gonna hang out yeah all right so how do I how do I gamble against Greg, what what stat is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, it is it is purely uh, a, di a die. I was gonna die say, 10. I'm gonna roll one d10 against you. Yeah, ah, just... <laughs> big roll. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh, 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 I win. What does he win? I mean, uh, probably well, gold, like fifty more spiders. Gold. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys continue on for 10 minutes, just kind of hanging out, doing your thing, and almost kind of without fanfare, you reach the station. You wouldn't even know right. that you'd gotten there, except for uh, Flurf, uh, you, you kind of... Are, are made aware that you have reached it. And uh, there's kind of like a, a, a hissing sound as the, the seals kind of latch. 
I scurry over to the uh, to the front window and check it out. All right, so you are and staring. People probably notice me doing that. Yep. yep so you you, you get in there. the The cockpit is open again, and there is. You were looking at a, a a station. It says in bright bold letters. It's actually kind of faded, like you know, uh, s- space dust and all sorts of junk has been kind of wearing at this for a while, but. Despite the wear and tear, it it, it says uh, clearly Molt Station, uh, and you guys are uh, attached to one of the many uh, kind of docking rigs along uh, kind of like a, a an axis along the center. All right, we're here. What are we doing here again? Uh we're probably gonna get into a lot of fights. Why? Well, hopefully we won't have to shed a single drop of blood. Okay, so let me bring us back to uh, Molt Station. Hopefully we uh, we see that Blight guy so I can get, get, give him what for? For him taking his thing back? He, <laughs> the thing that he gave to me, yeah. There was kind of a right. deal. Somebody yep. reneged on it. I guess I'm going to exit out this Would door. he even be here yet? Oh, it would be map and background, wouldn't it be? Guys, we're at our destination. As uh, as Greg exits the door, I jump into the net room and pull a prank on him and just get him <laughs> <What>? in. What? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do that? Why? So much for a grand entrance. <laughs> All right, there's my reflex save against getting netted. <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys are straight up going through like a, a like an airlock thing. Oh, so it's not even possible. Yeah, okay, so good. if anything, uh-huh. uh, Flurf, I mean, if you want to, you can try and shoot your net through the airlock and try and grab Durf. Oh, not Durf, Bird. Um, yeah, sure. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> Alaren? Mm-hmm? Something grabs your hand. The pirates are going to yes. be like, they're opening fire. And drags you through the door. Oh, like out this way? <laughs> You you don't know what's going on, but you are more or less thrown out the airlock with yeah. Greg. Oh. Oh. What? What? Um. What is happening? Let me. As Durf opens fire. <laughs> on us. On the where you are. The important thing is that it's all Dirk's so, fault this can I, time. Can I, <laughs> so yeah, can I make a reflex it? save as uh, a massive steel net more what? or less oh. rips through. <laughs> is that for real? The plate metal. Well, actually, I have, I have, um, oh, but it's a, it's a nat one, so I can't do anything. Okay. I have the so, skill to re-roll uh, my saves. Uh, yeah. Okay. Re-roll your save you then. Probably want to use it. Yeah. Right yeah. now. <laughs> I just thought that we couldn't do that. No, with that no, ones. that's for advantage and disadvantage. This is a specific feat Did with Dirk limited uses. Did just shoot uses. his own ship? He just no, he just no. shot the dock. So, Alaren and Greg, you guys kind of dive out of the way because it wasn't too hard to dodge. Mm-hmm. As uh-huh. this net kind of, uh, well, I mean, honestly, it rips it rips through the docking area, and. Um, <laughs> God. Almost immediately, alarms just start going. For goodness oh, sake. God. <laughs> and give me a second. Let me find Oh, so you're thinking it. we probably beat him here because he's in a shitty mech and we're in a ship, but then we attack. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we're up to a great well, start. <laughs> so what's dragged me off? <gasps> Skitter! You we should run! I oh oh alright. I so Skitter just okay. books it down the hall. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, is that Everybody's what you meant when you said the door the opens? And, is that what you meant when you said the door opens and closes? Yeah. Everyone left on the ship. Uh, you are almost immediately jettisoned back into space. <laughs> as they open fire? Oh, uh, yeah. Dr- Dress, Flurf, and Spider's adventure. <laughs> God. Uh, I'm honestly not sure. 
I'm gonna have to think about this. Like, well, if Keith's gonna be gone next week, shouldn't you have Flurf get off, or are you gonna do a separate thing with Flurf uh, and Keith? I don't. Flurf hasn't exactly endeared himself to the people of the space station. <laughs> next week sounds like an Alaran, Greg, and Skitter adventure. Yeah, no, D and D is on for next week. <laughs> We're gonna have to figure out what that happens have to the happened crew more perfectly, of Flurf ship. No, this is perfect. Um. <laughs> ah. Well then. Huh. I, you did a you did a derp. You saved next week's D and D by removing <laughs> yourself from it. <laughs> oh, oh, ouch! <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say this has been any of the high tier Hendersons. It's not it's even in the lot. top like five of this. No, <laughs> but no. it was in such a way to completely Remember throw off any of my plans for what was going to happen tonight. Remember <laughs> when I deleted your universe or when Alaren deleted your boss See, fight? <laughs> I had plans for some of those. Like I was planning a Starfinder campaign. This is just the jury rigged <laughs> version. Did you have However, plans for Alaren nullifying your final encounter? Um, I mean, it, it was just gone, and then you guys would just have an easy D D and D romp, or <laughs> through through a dungeon. But I mean, the no. amount of suicidal behavior on this episode, though. <laughs> and I mean, very little that suicidal. came from Greg. So let's try to I'm, let's I'm try to back let's try to backtrack and tell for sure. Did Drez know about the pirate lair at all? Uh, no. Due no. to the excessive amount of not being in the conversation. I, I don't... Did he even know what he was messing up? Nope. Yeah, nope. I, so. I thought we explained that he needed to pilot the ship. Yeah, the there yeah. was just a bunch of funny conversations about ship he was, No, I did tell him Drez that was Blythe like, had to... Well, I gotta look. Yeah, <laughs> I told Blythe... him to not pilot. <sighs> Blythe was very specific about nobody being on that bridge. And specifically had told Drez repeatedly to get off the bridge. Yeah. Uh, though I, in in all fairness, I've, you were. I've not... trolled Greg repeatedly to do things all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess so you learned that, that other people have that consequences. That didn't lead to catastrophic campaign changes. Uh... Well, you've learned that other people have consequences. You can <laughs> troll other players, but you should never troll the DM. I, no, I'm not even sure. Yeah. You, he was <laughs> trolling a, a neutral evil pirate like information broker assassin and i'm like this guy was supposed to be kind of tangentially like an ally for a while and then maybe a villain if they you know ran counter to his faction <laughs> not as a like double cross but as a like you know oh well we're on opposite yeah. ends of the spectrum i gotta we gotta fight now and then it's like oh wait no no this is just immediately like poking the bear and i'm like how how do we deal <laughs> I don't. I don't know how we deal. I still don't. I don't know what's. My defense. From Drez's I thought perspective, I was going to catch a, a Greg. I from didn't know I was perspective, gonna... that pirate is literally insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And had bizarre responses to everything that happened. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? If he what actually was, bothered to talk with people, what was the shoot on sight moment? <laughs> so I was unconscious I... when I when. Uh, I was unconscious when I came out of the escape pod, and I kind of just assumed someone would wake me up, but no one did, and just kept briefing and talking That's about what was because waking you up has never story. led to anything good happening. I thought you were sleeping voluntarily. <laughs> but then I woke up on my own. And something terrible I sleeping, happened. I, I learned, not only I was... can you not wake Drez up, but you must do it immediately, because then he'll wake up on his own, and something exactly. ten times worse happens. I had a whole shtick plan where I was going to, like, quote Wizard of Oz, and be like, and I had the weirdest dream, and you were there, and you were there, and Sagnatha was gone. <laughs> Ugh. Also, Drez doesn't think that he blew up the planet. <laughs> If we're going to keep talking about him being, like, sociopathic in his response, it's because oh, he no. doesn't actually think he blew up the planet. <laughs> no, oh, I, yeah, we know. We're I'm, I'm fully aware of, aware of that, but everybody else thinks you are this horrible, yeah. horrible planet-destroying monster. <laughs> Drez pretty that, adorable. Drez thinks we put a, a barrier up and then, like, ping-ponged into space from the force of the explosion. I, I don't think Flurf actually knows that Drez Anything? blew up a planet. No. <laughs> no, I, no, he I doesn't have a is, clue. Flurf doesn't even like, know that he's not the original Flurf. Yeah. Oh, that'll yeah. be that'll be our discovery together. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you so we're gonna have your little Gaijin. You're gonna have your little Gaiden, not Gaijin, I don't know what that is. I mean uh, but anyway, you're gonna have your little Gaiden and you're gonna find out together that you blew up the planet. Oh no. blew up the planet. <laughs> Shattered planets revelations. <laughs> <laughs> The party is split once again with Flurf and Drez. Well, who knows what will happen to them? Uh, that That's one big mess that uh, Flurf just dumped them into. and oof, I don't even know how they're getting out of that one. Uh, let's see, but you'll have to find out what happens to them on the next, next, next episode of Shattered Planets. Otherwise, it's going to be a uh, nice little side, side episode session with Greg, Alaren, and Skitter, who's finally back from the, well, wherever he was. <laughs>